so we are in the labor and delivery unit and I am officially being admitted. The last time I was checked, I was three centimeters. So things are moving along. It is August 6th. I was supposed to be induced today, but my body started doing it on its own, thank God. And they are saying that we're gonna just let that ride out and see, you know, how everything goes. So I'm very happy about that. Um, so right now I am in the triage room and we just finished the admission process and now the nurse is going to come in and um, do the IV and some blood work and then I will get moved to my official delivery room. So yeah, that's exciting. We are going to be welcoming baby Dorsey hopefully soon. So, I'm excited. All right, so we have made it to the delivery room. It was, um, we waited since about 12. It's now, what time is it, Jared? 3.30. So, we just got into the delivery room. Um, I got all set up on the wireless monitors and we're just waiting on those to register so that I can get up and start moving around on the yoga ball. Then after that, um, I'll probably lay back down and do the peanut ball just to help the baby engage and really get down there and ready for delivery. I'm so happy the contractions are coming. The nipple, the nipple stimulation really works. So if you're pregnant, give it a shot because they got my contractions coming along with being on this ball to get the baby down. Yeah, they was coming back to back. Yeah. Like, and it didn't take any time to work. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, it was quick. It's crazy how your body communicates to itself. Like, okay, I gotta do this for the baby. Let's get a baby out. So now we're about to work out and get busy to get this baby down and out. So the less medical intervention is possible is what I was going for. And usually my body stalls out on contractions, but the fact that this nipple stimulation and this ball is really working, I'm like really excited about it. Gabby, show them my contraction. Oh, I'm having one right now. Show them the screen. Oh, those are the contractions just in case you're interested. Oh, cool. The top one right here? Yep. Yeah. The purple top, yeah. So they're coming. Oh. I'm so scared. I'm ready to go to sleep. Like a part of me want to dance and work out. Part of me want to just get the peanut ball and go to sleep. So I need to get him down. Oh. 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 Look at these contractions, y'all. Starting to pick up. So how do both of y'all feel with this being your last child? I hope that Jared really gets a vasectomy, to be honest. <laughs> she asked you about getting the tube side. Um, and the answer was no. It's going to be already open. No, they have to actually go surgically and do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. 
The great debate continues. So it has to be surgically. So I thought that they said it was easier to tie tubes when you're giving birth. Because mm-hmm. they can go ahead and roll you back into surgery. Oh. It's not something, it's not a quick. It's not like the in your vagina thing. They can oh. do your belly button and do it. Oh. Uh. your belly button. That's what I heard. That's how my aunt got hers done. They go through your belly button and um, tie your tubes that way. I'm trying to figure out how they do that. They opening up your belly button? Mm-hmm. I thought the agreement was already he, had. It was. And he got a quick 15-minute, 10, 15-minute procedure. He only out for three days from work. But but yours is easy because you're already open. No. What's that? Ooh. contractions she's on that screen right there oh lord she had a little bit of a break yep almost six o'clock in the next six minutes Alright, we're gonna try and get some rest. Just a little bit, but I'm gonna put the peanut ball in between my legs while while I try to doze off so we can get the baby down. <sighs> oh baby, 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 baby. I'm just scared of that pain because I'm only a four. But I don't want to stall. The epidural makes if you stall out. And then they're going to give me Pitocin, no, which I won't be able to feel. No, I'm just saying that there's like a, another option, not just epidural. Yeah. What would that be? Um, I don't know. This is my birth plan. She has the peanut ball on to kind of help so she could rest a little bit or try to get some rest anyways.
So for pain meds, we offer IV pain meds. That's our only other option. I'm sorry. We have fentanyl, which is um, 100 mics that typically provides relief. Granted, the more you get it, the less effective it becomes. But that is your other option besides the epidural. Do you want to slow anything down? Um, I mean, sometimes if you receive migraine, it might your contractions down a little bit, but it's not going to do it that much. What about the baby's heart rate? Now, every medicine that you do receive through your IV does go directly to your baby. So, yes, you know, those they can cause the baby's heart variability to decrease, which means oxygenation is impacted. Right. right now, baby looks fine, so if you want to receive it, there'll be no harm. It just generally speaking, especially when you get into active labor towards labor stages, we don't give it because of that reason. Oh. 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 Well, it's up to you, hon. If you want the same method, I can bring it to you, but. I think about it because I'm, I'm tired. Like, I want to get some sleep, like, just a little bit. And I feel like that'll help take the edge off a little bit. It will. Do you want me to um give you something for it? Um, let me get on the phone on this first, and then I'll call you and see how it's doing. Okay, all right. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm about to give her. It'll, it'll be the second option, not the fifth. The new baby? Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, I'm going to do, I am going to give a report to your next nurse, so I'll let her know what's going on. Okay, yeah, you're about to leave. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thank you so much oh, for your help. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Okay, we're gonna give oh. the, this ball a try. Oh. 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 Yeah, it's a little after 7 a.m. and her contractions are starting to become way more intense. Sorry, sister, don't fight it. Yeah, don't fight it. That's, that's how the trip gets real bad. You, you <laughs> need that rest.
this interesting watching somebody fall asleep. You want something to drink? Mm. The fan? The fan. You want to take a sip of this? Dude, if people take that on the street, they got to be careful. <laughs> hey you guys I just wanted to come on here and update real quick I'm really kind of out of it. I'm tired. But, um, I just got my cervix checked. And I am six centimeters dilated. My cervix is really soft. And, um, the water could break at any moment. It's like bulging, she said. So that's exciting because I, my water has never broken on its own. Um, so we're gonna shoot for that. But yeah, um, that's just a quick update. Um, as far as the, the new bang goes, it, it definitely took the edge off a little bit. I do still feel the contractions, which I'm about to have one right now. Um, but it's literally just the edge off. But I do recommend it. It just takes that extra, like, tip that extra sting from the contractions off just enough that you can breathe through it um but anyways i'm i'm just so grateful and very proud of my body and what it's doing i have had no medical intervention for the contractions so i just you know i'm very grateful i just feel really blessed about that but anyways, that is the quick update, and we will be back soon. We just waiting for you, baby Dorsey. Absolutely. Mommy is at six centimeters, so things are going to start progressing really fast now. Yes. She, she ready. It's okay. The contractions aren't killing me, so I'm really happy about that. But, I mean, they hurt. Don't get me wrong, but they're not killing me. So, I'm happy. I'm just ready to deliver and rest. Yes. Alrighty. So, it is about 1130, and she just got another dose of... Oh, I forgot it. I think it's Neplin or Neplin. It's a pain medication. I'm just glad she's getting some rest. We'll check back in to the channel when mama is more dilated baby's heart rate is at 136 right now 
so it's looking a lot better. And this one right here. how she's contracting about right now.
How you feeling, Mama? A little sleepy. Um, but I'm happy. I'm happy that it's over. I'm happy he's here. But I am a little tired and in some pain. Cold, so I'm shaking a little bit. <clears throat> but we did it. It's all good now. Yes, yeah, so you did that. You did an incredible job. Thank you. I had a great support system. I'm very grateful for Jared and Gabby. I really am. Ooh. He's spicy already. No, oh, he's falling asleep, Jared. That's all he wanted. I already knew. Mm -hmm. And he got more anxious the more he would hear you. It's like he knew. Like... Mm -hmm. Baby, no one. There's daddy and baby. Good morning. It is August 7th. It is the next day. We are in the postpartum room. I'm holding the baby. And at least he's getting some good sleep because I'm definitely not. Um, it's been off and on just because he's been cluster feeding. And of course, they're coming in and doing a lot of tests on both of us. Um, but Jared is getting, he's also getting some good sleep finally. Um, he was up for about 24 hours because um, this really happened as soon as he got off of work. So um, I'm happy he's getting some good sleep. but. Everything's going good. All the tests are coming back good. So hopefully we're able to leave today once we get to the 24 hour mark. But yeah, we'll just be, you know, chilling out and the baby will get a few more tests done like the hearing test and, um, you know, all of the little tests they do on the babies. But uh, yes, I'm so happy he's finally here. Show y'all his face, his little precious face. 
he looks like Zane when Zane was born. So he's just so precious. But um, yeah, we are so grateful to God that. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, sorry, ugly yawn. And we're so grateful to God that um, he was born healthy and you know everything went smoothly with the birth and you know everything is continuing to go smoothly. So yes, Gabby is back home now. I'm just so grateful for her and Jared and their immense amount of support uh, during the labor and delivery. I, I just couldn't be more grateful. So yeah, but she is back home now, so it's just me and Jared, and um, yeah, we'll keep you updated.